What is up, YouTube? Sour Pack James back at it again. Hope everyone is doing well, enjoying their week, enjoying the playoffs. A lot of fun. Very happy that the playoffs are here. Finally, get to watch some 100% competitive basketball. Uh, got a fun one for you today as we got a subscriber giveaway, mailbag, and a care package. Uh, before we get to all that, if it's your first time checking out the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it. And all those who have been watching, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Speaking of which, we just crossed the 700 uh, subscriber mark. And so we're going to give away this LaMelo Ball. That's right. Uh, rookie of the Year, perhaps. LaMelo Ball from NBA Hoops. And uh, thank you. Really, really appreciate the support and growth. Um, so all you got to do if you want to enter in for this LaMelo Ball rookie is you got to be a subscriber. You're going to like this video. And let me know down in the comments who will win the NBA championship now that we have all the matchups and uh you know first and maybe second games already played very very exciting times there's gonna be the lakers repeat will it be the trio and the nets or maybe someone else so let me know down in the comments who will win the nba chip and i'll leave this running for a week and announce winners uh, next tuesday's video so once again thank you thank you so much everyone for your support and uh there you go so that is for the lamello ball nba hoops rookie Put that to a side here. So today got a little different. Um, got some uh, mailbag pickups I've been doing. But first we got a care package from my man Nathan uh, over at Rycon Sports. If you don't know, uh, he is in fact the biggest Bradley Beal collector on the tube and has a very formidable um, Karis LeVert action. So uh, he's a dual threat there. So uh, thank you, thank you, Nate. Really, really appreciate it. I think I sent him some uh, wizard cards his way, so uh, he returned the favor. And pretty cool. I think I can read this. Uh, James, thanks for the cards. Love the PSA Beal. Hope the Clippers cards can add to your PC. Thanks again, bro, from Rikon Sports. So very, very cool. Awesome. Thank you, Nate. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you don't haven't checked out his channel, please do give him a sub. But I'm pretty sure most of you already know Nate. Uh, how cool of a dude he is and he says oh this back card was a screw up on ebay instead of giving it fix it's perfect for you oh wow, appreciate it thank you man i'm uh, sorry that the ebay mix up um didn't work out occasionally that happens uh i almost had to scare myself as someone forgot to put my uh unit number on one of my ebay purchases but it worked out it worked out so here we go i am uh, a big clippers fan uh, my nervous alert is probably around. I'm pretty nervous. Pretty sure it's going to be a seven game series now. So I don't know. We shall see. But I collect the Clippers. So I'm pretty sure we will be seeing a lot of Clippers stuff here. So thank you again, Nate. Starting off, we've got complete players. Paul George, very cool, out of Dom Ross. Oh, let me see. This appears to be a pack here. So let me cover that up. Get these cards out. Always appreciate the painter's tape. Always disheartening when you buy like a expensive card and they use a, I don't know, duct tape or some other tape. Scotch tape's the worst. So really, really appreciate it there. So we got out of Don Ross, we got uh, Paul George. Very cool, complete player. Definitely do not have this. Uh, awesome, love the red on red. And then we got Kawhi Leonard, Mr. Fun Guy, will to win out of Mosaic. Love that, love the Mosaic from last year. And I uh, definitely do not have this frequent flyers from NBA hoops. Is this uh, premium stock or prior hoops? Premium stock. So yeah, definitely do not hit this one. So very, very cool. Love that. And then we got uh, Chronicles. Very cool. Kawhi Leonard. Very nice. I'm not sure. If, is this a parallel or not? I always forget with Chronicles. You have to kind of look at the logo. But uh, either way, very, very cool there. And then over here, it looks like we got some former players. And cover up this last one. I uh, got Montrez Harold, Donna's these uh, orange lasers. Love the design. Uh, yeah, you know, I hope Montrez is doing well. I mean, I could have worn a lot of Laker fans. What would have happened? It's not like. Uh, you know, if you don't don't play him in crunch minutes, just accept him for who he is. But if you expect more, it's gonna break your heart, unfortunately. So Montrez here, Landry Sham, another player. Uh, 
I don't know if you missed, but I was a big fan of Landry Shamit. Uh, we had a thing of calling uh, Vita Zubax uh, Zubat from Pokemon, and then Landry Shamit would be um, Wario. Or is it Wario? No, uh, Waluigi. There we go. So that was kind of uh, a lot of memes in the Clippers Reddit for that. So Landry Shamit uh, is getting some playing time in Brooklyn. And then very cool, we got a nice uh, God game, uh, Kawhi Leonard, green parallel there. And oh my God, Nate, you do not have to do this. Darius Miles, very, very cool. Signature series, awesome, man. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, Darius was one of like uh, the reasons why I became a Clippers fan. Him and Quentin Richardson were on these uh, Jordan commercials where they did the head bob. And I just like, oh, I'll cheer for these guys. You know, they barely win 20 games, but very, very cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. And here's our rookie, Daniel Oturo. Um, famously, where we tanked our last game, we gave him like 25 shots. I think he was like 7 for 25. But uh, yeah, that is Daniel Oturo. Hopefully he develops and we got another of his from uh, Don Rush, Brady Rookie. Very, very cool. So that is our rookie there. And I'm going to finish off with this last batch. I guess this is from his eBay. This I don't think I've ever gotten a uh, wrong eBay purchase for sure. I actually uh, have sent the wrong card though. So <laughs> I have done that before. <laughs> Luckily, the, the seller was uh, all right with it, had a good attitude about it. So give me negative feedback but this is very cool uh paul george montage a montage from mosaic you definitely do not have this card that's awesome so thank you oh and it's out of 25 crazy wow i do not have a numbered paul george card i do not have, yeah that is very cool really really appreciate it thank you thank you so much nate awesome stuff definitely all of this will go into bc and a lot of it i do not have so really appreciate it once again, if you haven't subscribed over to Nate's cards, Rikon Sports Cards, I'll leave a link down below. But be sure to uh, check out his stuff, opening uh, all sorts of stuff. And uh, once again, the biggest Bradley Beal collector. Always fascinated what new Beal stuff he gets. So check that out. Um, and so for today, be doing my uh, kind of a mailbag of what I've been picking up. And what I've been picking up is a lot of Michael, Jeffrey, Jordan. Um, he is my favorite player, but uh, ever since I got into the back into a hobby about a couple years ago, I haven't really grown my collection. So uh, I think the last, I don't know, maybe three or three, four months, I've been slowly adding more and more stuff. I'm trying to rebuild the collection, especially from I had a bunch as a kid, and I don't know, like probably my most folks, my parents threw out all my cards. So, uh, so starting off with. We got these upper deck uh, Stanley designs, uh, Stanley comic uh, artist. So this is very very cool. Uh, usually does uh, does everything, but uh, I think right now he's over at DC. But uh, here's one of uh, Michael Jordan where he's Agent Thirty Three and Larry Bird as Birdman. So very very cool. Here's another one, Funimation. Love that. Next up, we got this MJ Center Stage from Upper Deck. Um, I just like the design here, so that's why I picked up. What's great about getting all these uh, Jordan cards is like there's a lot I haven't gotten um, when I was a kid because I just kept on making them. So it's really cool discovering uh, new Jordan cards. So here's Michael Jordan Sharpshooters from Flare 93. And then I, li I really like this blue, um, I think it's Intense, what is it? Intensity from Upper Deck. Really cool blue background. You can hardly read the intensity part right here, but I uh, really, really like the colors on this. Cool card. And then we've got a Flare Traditions, Michael Jordan. Nice shot there. And then we got from 96 Flare, Hardwood Leaders. We've got a pair of those. I know it's supposed to be hardwood, but for whatever reason, the mind kind of plays tricks on me. I keep on thinking it's like a, a tiger print for some reason. But that's just me. But I'm happy with those. And then we're going to finish it off with this Champion Spirit. Uh, Spirit Tops Chrome, very very cool card. Um, if you've ever seen like the refractive versions or parallels, uh, definitely look cool. But I'll take a base of this all day. Very cool. Uh, next up, got some more here. This is from '93. Famous nicknames: Air, Michael Jordan. And then here's a set I've been kind of piecing together. So this is I think 2005 Upper Deck. 
And this uh, insert is a 10, I think 10 cards of uh, MJ and LeBron dual. So been kind of saving the eBay searches and kind of slowly picking them off. So here's one. Flip that around, here's another. I like how they're kind of just using their different or similar actions with the poses. Here's another one that I'm dunking. So very cool. I think I have a fourth one, but it's in another pile coming up. And then we got the Skybox Electrified. Love these, got a pair of these. So very, very cool designs. Uh, love like kind of Skybox, Flare designs back in the 90s. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know if it's nostalgia, but I think they look awesome. And then I think this is from Top's Finest, but uh, Profiles, so David Robinson wrote a little blurb about Mike. Uh, yeah, my first impressions of Michael came when I was from the 1980 Olympic team. So that's a pretty cool answer. And there's uh, many more where uh, stars would write a little blurb about another star. So this is one from Dave Robinson of Michael Jordan. And next up is this really cool uh, UD3 upper deck. Uh, it's a three-part. There's a middle and there's a right one. So this is the left side. So, you know, uh, uh, definitely something I always look out for, like at card shows or eBay or something like that to try to complete the collection. Unfortunately, the middle and the right part are more expensive than the left side. But, uh, you know, if I find it, hopefully I'll complete it someday. But very, very cool die cuts. And then next up is the Michael Jordan from the Metal Universe. Got a pair of these. Anything uh, Michael Jordan and Metal. Um, definitely an eBay search that I save. Um, just love looking through those cards and picking them up. A pair of those. And here we got a Topps Finest wearing the 45. Very, very cool card. Still with the uh, little peel there. Um, probably in great condition. Need to look at it a little bit more just to see if it's worthy for uh, sending out for grading. So there you go. Let's see, next up are where are we at? Here are cards that uh, is from my grading stack. So these are cards I'll probably send off the grading. Uh, I love this particular card uh, just because of the Michael Jordan signature. Just kind of a sucker for that. So we'll see what PSA when it op opens back up and the prices. So I'm not sure if this will exactly go to PSA given the price point, but um, definitely something I want to get graded. Here's another one. Uh, more Michael Jordan metal. This time it's metal shredders. I think I have already a PSA 8 of this, but Hopefully this one can uh, score a little higher. And we got a uh, Topps Finest Showstoppers. Really, really cool card. Love that. And then here is another, the fourth one of the uh, Michael Jordan, LeBron James dual insert. So I like this because it's really early Mike. So hopefully that goes out well. Uh, this one's definitely an interesting one. I picked this up at a card show. so. This particular inset, um, there's a base version, but this is the gold foil version. And those are, I think they're called the Spectre or something. But anyways, think of it as a refractor. But those are supposed to be uh, numbered. So um, the guy that I picked this up from, uh, got this from an Upper Deck employee. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But supposedly, that's where he got it from. But it's a it's supposed to be a serialized, unserialized numbered card. And I have seen um, cards graded like that, where it's supposed to be, they mentioned this is a uh, unserialized card or unnumbered card when it's supposed to be. So I'll just send it in, see what they say at PSA. I don't know if that's fun, but I think it's a really cool looking card. And then last, I got this cool Hall of Fame here. Um, I just think it's an awesome looking card. Uh, very reminiscent of like a, I don't know, Prism Cracked Ice. Very, very cool. Hall of Fame and in really good, great condition. When I got it in mail, I was like, wow, this is awesome stuff. So really, really happy with that. Uh, next up is some uh, graded cards. So let's see here. We got uh, 93 Skybox. Very cool. Something I had as a kid. And then we got this 96 Flare. Got the 11s going on there. And then 97 Flare, Michael Jordan. Great shot there. We got Patrick Ewing, John Starks, Charles Oakley. Nice action shot. Anything with kind of like a gold foil for the lettering, I'm just a sucker for. Then let's see here. Let's go with this uh, 91 Flare Pro Vision. Definitely a classic for me as a kid because of the cartoon look. So I love this one. So very happy to get it back. 
uh, as an adult. So there you go. And then next up, let's go with the 98 Ionics. Very, very cool insert there. Love that. And then we've got a, another one. Uh, this one's a uh, very, very cool Area 23. And uh, yeah, I just like the colors and then how it kind of flickers like that. So I'm trying to make out the person here. It looks like it's from the Pacers, number 13. Uh, one's ringing a bell there. And then we got this really cool, uh, no pun intended, cool air upper deck, 1999. And they've got the Mr. Sean Bradley there in the background going by. But yeah, really think this is just a cool looking card. Again, no pun intended. But uh, yeah, very happy with that. And we got this uh, 90, uh, 96 metal Michael Jordan. Just very cool. Again, with the gold foil lettering, always a big fan of. And then we got uh, 95 Tops Finest. Very cool. This was uh, great too because um, I was looking at just getting a, a raw card and then saw the price point on a PSA 9. And given how pricing of grading has gone up, just uh, it was only a little bit more. So really happy to get an eye on this one. So really happy with that. And then we're going to finish it off with where I'm slowly getting into the Jordan insert game um, it's a very expensive game so starting at the bottom maybe i'll slowly might work my way up but um uh, here's one uh michael jordan history class cool looking card there just love the colors and how it kind of goes all around there initially i when i first saw this card i thought th this was like a die cut like these four little stripes but uh no it's not but there you go and then next up we're gonna get some fire we're gonna go some and Fuego from Tops. Um, definitely love this uh, set. If you have, I've seen the entire set with all the different players. It just looks really cool. Obviously, this is uh, gotta get the MJ version, and I just love the font. Yen Fuego. And then I think there's like a base version. So if you don't, uh, you don't want the little waves going on. There's that. So really happy to get this. Have to kind of look it under um, the microscope and see if it's worthy for grading, but. Really happy in the condition of that. And then, speaking of which, I also very happy how this one turned out. Sticky Fingers, Michael Jordan, and also from Tops. Um, this is one I was having uh, an eye on for a long, long time. If I pulled the trigger, put in an offer, and they just accepted. I was like, wow, crazy. Now I have a Sticky Fingers, Michael Jordan. Um, didn't think I would actually really say that, but there you go. Very, very cool card there. And uh, it turned out great in terms of the condition. So pro probably something I will send in. Really happy with that. And last, certainly not least, we got Round Ball Royalty, Michael Jordan. Still got the protective coding. And another one where I just submitted an offer and they accepted. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, there you go. I finally got Round Ball Royalty. So another one I have been eyeing on for a long, long time. Just to uh, finally have it. And it came out great in condition too. So have to look at it under the light and um, microscope or whatever and see if it's everything else checks out but uh really really happy with that so there you go hope you guys enjoy uh, my recent mailbag pickups uh, let me know what you guys think have you guys picked up anything else recently and uh once again for the 700 subscriber giveaway for this lamella ball all you got to do is be a subscriber like this video let me know down in the comments who will win the nba championship so leave that up running for a week and once again thank you to nate from rycon sports be sure to give him a sub and uh, really really appreciate it and uh i know it was a little long video but hope you guys enjoy and instagram instagram sour pack james for my latest video notifications and pickups until next time guys uh rip them packs watch the playoffs for reals and then pull that fire it's been real